Liverpool's midfield has looked unbalanced after the departure of Fabinho to Saudi Arabia. And to be fair, he didn't really perform well in the last season at Anfield either. It even made Jurgen Klopp go against his own opinion from 2016 again, when trying to sign both Moises Caicedo and Romeo Lavia for record-breaking sums. When they both went to Chelsea instead, Liverpool took a chance with the acquisition of Ryan Gravenberch from Bayern Munich just before the summer transfer window closed. And as it seems, this transfer can actually change Liverpool's title chances after all. The ex-Ajax midfielder made his debut recently against Wolves, but he was on the field for just a short while. During his press conference before the game, Klopp talked about the player and discussed how he could make a difference in his new team for the first time since joining from Bayern. I think definitely in the future he has the potential to play as a number 6, he explained. He's so skilled. I don't like to talk about the things he is not good at yet. He has to improve and he knows that. And he tries but the natural stuff is there and all the other stuff takes time. And that is how it is. He is an 8. He can play as a 10. Definitely and yes, in time, he can play as a 6. Like Curtis could play as a 6. They just have to get used to the different spaces and responsibilities. But let's step back for a moment. So, while it was Liverpool who secured the talented 21-year-old, the connection with Old Trafford also wasn't a surprise. Gravenberch's Ajax debut took place in 2018 under the management of Eric Ten Hag. At the tender age of 16 years and 130 days, he became the youngest player ever to make a debut in the Eredivisie, surpassing the legendary Clarence Seedorf's record. During his time under Ten Hag's guidance, Gravenberch accumulated 103 appearances, winning three Dutch titles and two Dutch Cups, and even made his debut for the Netherlands when he was 18. It was only a matter of time before Europe's wealthiest clubs came knocking, but Gravenberch struggled to secure playing time after his move to Bayern. Under Julian Nagelsmann's leadership, he started just one Bundesliga game in February 2023, shortly before Nagelsmann was dismissed. His successor, Thomas Tuchel, gave Gravenberch two starts, including a crucial match on the last day at Köln, where Bayern secured their 11th consecutive title in dramatic fashion. Otherwise, he was mainly used as a substitute, making 24 appearances in the league and totaling only 937 minutes across all competitions. Despite his challenging journey at Bayern, he remains a player with immense potential and aligns perfectly with Liverpool's criteria, youthful, versatile, and high potential, and already experienced with 137 first-team appearances for Ajax and Bayern under his belt. Liverpool has been interested in Gravenberch for quite some time. They've been keeping an eye on him for years, recognizing him as one of the most promising young midfielders in global football. During this transfer window, Liverpool missed out on midfielders Moises Caicedo and Romeo Lavia, both of whom joined Chelsea. As a result, Liverpool had to regroup and reconsider their options. At 30 years old and serving as the captain of Japan's national team, Endo presented an experienced choice to fill the leadership void left by the departures of Jordan Henderson and Fabinho to Saudi Arabia. He also serves as a safety net for a younger player like Gravenberch, relieving them of the immediate pressure to become the new number 6. Evaluating Gravenberch's abilities based on his time at Bayern is challenging due to his limited playing time since the transfer. However, we can gain a clearer understanding by looking at the data from the 2021-22 season, his final year at Ajax, which convinced the Germans to sign him. Gravenberch possesses the versatility to operate as a number 6 at the base of the midfield or as a number 8. While at Ajax, he predominantly played on the left side of a double pivot, but he is also comfortable in a more advanced role on the left side of a midfield trio. In Liverpool's 3-box-3 three three system, the number 6 transitions to the left-sided double pivot when right-back Trent Alexander-Arnold moves into the midfield during possession. When out of possession, Liverpool shifts to a 4-3-3 formation. Therefore, some adjustments may be necessary if Gravenberch is intended to play as the sole number 6 at the base of Liverpool's midfield in their system. So, what kind of player is he? 
Let's delve into it using Smarter Scout data, which rates various aspects of a player's performance on a scale from 0 to 99. This data assesses how frequently a player carries out certain actions compared to others in their position, and how effective they are at those actions. One of Graven Birch's standout qualities lies in his ability to carry the ball and propel his team forward on the field. In fact, his rating for carry and dribble volume is an impressive 92 out of 99. During the 2021-22 season, as a key member of Ajax's championship-winning squad, he attempted an average of 3.9 take-ons per 90 minutes in the Dutch top league, putting him in the top 5% among all midfielders in that competition. His distinctive long strides, combined with excellent close ball control, enable him to bypass opponents with ease. Graven Birch is quite comfortable when receiving the ball, and his physical prowess, aided by his 190 cm height, allows him to accelerate away from opposing players while maintaining possession effectively. Additionally, Graven Birch possesses the ability to draw opposing players toward him and engage them in one-on-one -on -one battles through his dynamic driving runs. In this specific example, during Bayern's match against Freiburg last April, Graven Birch demonstrated his skills. He successfully fended off one opponent and cleverly spun away from another. This created space on the field, allowing him to distribute the ball and set up Bayern's next attack. This type of play could prove advantageous for Liverpool, especially when dealing with a well-organized defensive block. It not only helps advance a team up the field, but can also be valuable in and around the opposing penalty area. Gravenberch possesses the intelligence and awareness to position himself effectively to receive the ball. He also boasts a strong passing rate and remains composed when receiving the ball under pressure. However, his passing style is less focused on progressive passes, with a rating of only 18 out of 99. He tends to prefer simpler short-distance passes to maintain possession, as indicated by his link-up play volume, which is rated at 76 out of 99. This passing style bears some resemblance to Fabino's approach, although Fabino tends to dribble less than Gravenberch. It's worth noting that Gravenberch does show an inclination to look forward in his passing. Approximately 16% of his passes with Ajax were considered progressive, meaning he advanced the ball by 10 or more meters, a rate that ranked among the highest for midfielders in the league. While Liverpool doesn't necessarily require their number 6 to be their primary creative force, their role is more about facilitating those around them. Gravenberch possesses attacking qualities that set him apart from Fabinho. He has the ability to venture forward into the penalty area, boasting an 82 out of 99 rating for his ability to receive the ball in the box. However, this is more likely to occur when he's positioned in a more advanced role, and he also contributes to creating goal-scoring opportunities. One thing to note about Gravenberch is that he isn't primarily a defensive specialist. When he played as a part of a double pivot in Ajax's 4-2-3-1 formation, Edson Alvarez, who has also moved to the Premier League with West Ham United, often took on the role of defensive screening, allowing Gravenberch more freedom to express his style of play. However, this doesn't mean that Gravenberch can't develop into a defensive specialist, especially considering his young age. He has the potential to be shaped into a player who fits Liverpool's requirements. His statistics indicate that while he may not be the most active defender, he can be quite effective in this aspect. His defensive impact rating, which stands at 77 out of 99, demonstrates his capability to impede the opposition's progress and create turnovers when assigned to defend. Last season, Fabino had a very similar rating of 79 out of 99 in this category. Nevertheless, Fabino outperformed Gravenberch in disrupting opposition movements, which encompasses activities like tackling, fouling, blocking, and clearing per minute when not in possession. Fabino achieved an impressive 87 out of 99 in this regard, while Gravenberch's rating was slightly above average at 53 out of 99. Gravenberch's defensive effectiveness is most pronounced when he approaches opponents from the side and applies pressure at an angle. In such situations, he can dispossess his opponent by stepping across them or using his leg to poke the ball away from the outside. 
However, when facing opponents head-on or recovering from a defensive position, his performance is less composed and he may concede fouls or be vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one situations. Furthermore, Graven Birch's natural inclination is to move his team forward swiftly after winning back possession. In a 5-0 home victory against Jekside Victoria Plzen during last season's Champions League group stage, there was a notable instance where Graven Birch showcased his abilities. He regained possession by tracking an opponent, then cleverly identified an open space to exploit. He proceeded to break into the opposition's half and delivered a progressive pass to his teammates' feet. Graven Birch possesses athleticism and deceptive speed, making him effective in pressing opponents, a crucial aspect of Liverpool's high-intensity style. However, achieving consistent performance in this area may require some adjustment over time. Graven Birch's profile aligns perfectly with Liverpool's needs at Anfield. He could potentially serve as the missing piece in a highly successful midfield overhaul that has incorporated youth, experience, and reliability. We'd love to hear your thoughts on our analysis. And if you want to know how good Dominic Sobosly will become in the Liverpool shirt, be sure to check out this video next. Thanks for watching.